You know, I was thinking about it today, and you know, learning how to take you know both videos and photos in this thing is not exactly the easiest thing to do, especially if you want to do it in full manual, which is something I recommend that you start off straight away. So what I did is I made a, I took pictures around my room, and I'm going to show you how to work the shutter speed, the ISO, and the aperture and you know what exactly each of them does. I, I took pictures holding two of them constant and changing one. So let's take a look. Alright, first up we have the shutter speed. I have it initially set for a 60th of a second. The other settings are aperture of 2.8 and ISO of 160. As you can see as we're going through the shutter speeds rather quickly here, uh, the picture brightens up because more light is allowed in if the shutter speed is longer. Next up is the ISO. I have it starting at 160 and what you'll notice as the ISO goes higher is that it brings out uh, more of the picture uh, in dark areas but at a cost of uh, more noise in the picture as you'll see uh, rapidly uh, at about 1250 and up. And now we're on to the f-stop and aperture. Now the f-stop controls the aperture and it's important to remember uh, two extremes. The one, if you have your f-stop very high, that means your lens is actually letting in very little light, uh, which is reflected by you know very little light in your picture, and your depth of field is also very large. Now, if you take the f-stop down to as low as it can go, it's also being called wide open, uh, two things happen. You let a lot of light into your lens so your picture is brighter, but also your depth of field becomes very shallow. I hope that answered your questions, and if there's anything else that you want me to clarify, uh, let me know, and I'll be sure to help you out. Take care.